So from a from a uh, matrix attack point of view, we've talked about acids and leaving the leaving the aggregate behind. But there's also certain uh, scenarios where the matrix gets modified chemically, such in the case of sulfur. Um, and what happens in sulfate attack is uh, sulfate ions in the sulfur combine with the cement matrix. And that part of that byproduct of that is actually a gypsum and an entronite material. And those materials are expansive. So as they get created inside the pores of the concrete and expand, they're basically expanding and disintegrating the concrete by creating tensile forces in the concrete, microcracking it, and, and having it fall apart. So here you see a, this is a, a sulfur trench where trains roll down this track, they drop molten sulfur into this, into this pit, and you can see on the left side of the, of the, the uh, tank wall there, it's completely disintegrated that concrete by that, co that chemical reaction that creates the gypsum and the intranite that expands, and you can see the, the, uh, what, what the outward sign of that is. Here you can see a close-up version of it, and that's the same exposure. Now another um, uh, exposure is uh, H H2SO4, hydrogen sulfide, which happens in sewer lines. So we've got concrete sewer lines that are not always full. So you've got open air on the top, you've got H2S uh, uh, emission from the sewage, and it actually has a chemical reaction with the concrete, which basically you can see the deterioration mechanism, what it does to that by just by just damaging and and deteriorating the uh, the matrix. Very common, and of course, it only happens in the top side where the where the gases are exposed to air.